These stories prove it's not easy being tall. In 2022, this world record holder lived out her dream of traveling the world. Guinness World Record certified that Rumesa Gelgi of Turkey was the tallest living woman. Her stature of over 7 feet is a result of Weaver Syndrome, which caused rapid growth. She always wanted to experience other cultures, but her condition prevented her from traveling long distances. Gelgi relies on a wheelchair to get around, but can only sit for two hours. Since she has to rest lying down, Turkish Airlines helped make her first flight possible. They installed a stretcher on one of their planes to accommodate Gelgi on a flight from Istanbul to San Francisco. She says she hopes this is the first flight of many she will take in the future. I love Guinness World Record! Sultan Colson has been the Guinness World Record holder for tallest living man since 2009. He is 8 foot 2.8 inches. His growth spurt started when he was 10 because of a tumor that damaged his pituitary gland. It caused it to excrete excessive amounts of the growth hormone, a condition known as pituitary gigantism. Since being certified as the tallest living man, he's fulfilled his lifelong dream of traveling the world. He's also a cultural ambassador for his native country, Turkey. From 2020, this teen has the longest legs in the world. 17-year-old Macy Curran is 6'10", and her legs were 4 feet 5 inches, accounting for 60% of her body. Where a normal child would grow about 2 inches a year, she would always grow 3, 4, 5 inches every year Before. consistently. When Macy lays in bed, her feet dangled over the end of the mattress and she could stop the ceiling fan with her hands. Macy hopes to inspire other tall girls across the world to reach new heights. People always ask me if I could be shorter, would I? And I'm like, no. In 2015, Colleen Smith and Lindsay K. Hayward were two of the tallest women in America. Colleen is 6'6", and Lindsay is 6'9". They talked to Stephen Fabian about being tall. You've been this tall since you were 13? That's right. 13, I was like 4 foot 7, I think. <laughs> you still are. Yeah. No, their height made simple tasks like getting into a car and boarding a plane more difficult. Oh, this thing's never work. Airplane seats are small for everybody. Right. I can't imagine what they're like for you. Right, right. I kind of have to like cramp up and I sit there like that and then I feel all weird. Lindsay and Colleen were featured in the TLC reality show, My Giant Life. So what's dating like for you guys? Because you're so tall, I imagine it's kind of difficult. I am not one that dates only tall guys. I date guys shorter than myself as well. Is that difficult when you date a shorter guy? Does he have to like stand on a box to like give I, you a kiss? I put him on a curb once in a while. <laughs> High five, ladies. High five. Yeah, that yeah. Is. Oh, man. In 2018, to be part of this fashion show, you had to be 6'4 or taller. Ekaterina was 6'9. Rachel Mitchell was 6'7. She's a pro basketball player and says she doesn't have any trouble meeting men. Short men love tall women. <laughs> Kirsten Lindstrom was 6'7 and played volleyball. Brooke Rogers is 6'4. I'm the shortest of all of them and I wish I was taller. Backstage, they got ready for the show. Her legs are about 52 inches long. And were coached on how to take on the steep steps and high hills. You make sure you make contact with the back of that step. <laughs> After the show, the audience members took pictures with the models. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.